friends, welcome back to Arms Only Gaming, Mike here. I'm going to show you a little bit of a shorter version on how to summon Henrik. I have uploaded a video about this, uh, but this step is a little bit faster and a little more, uh, a little more detailed, if I can put it that way. So when you start the game, after you've opened up your shortcuts and stuff, head over to the Gascoin fight. Uh, in my previous video, I went and I went to look for Eileen. You can still do that. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that method. This one is just a little bit quicker. But uh, f don't even go and fight the cleric beast. You can finish him off later, depending on how you want to play the game. But uh, for now, I'm going to use the fast method. I'm going to run to Gascoin. It's important to defeat Gascoin in order to start the quest line uh, that includes Eileen and Henrik. Now, as you know, Henrik is an NPC that you can use uh, in the Shadows of Yarnum boss fight, and you can use him uh, with Rom the Vacuous Spider. I've said this previously, I like using him because he's, um, he's a very tough guy. He's a, he, he, he takes more punishment for me than the Mensa Scholar or than, uh, well, even the, the Mararas Twin that you can summon in uh, the Shadows of Yarnum fight. He's, he, Enduk is the better bet for me, so if you ever need help and you want to summon an NPC, Follow these steps and you can summon Hendrik at both of those fights. Okay, so I'm just going to get rid of uh, Gascoin here. He's, he's angry at me, he's slapping at me. Right. Light this lantern. Remember, my friends, you need to follow these steps uh, as I'm explaining them. Otherwise, you won't be able to summon him. Um, it's okay. I'm just going to head, head up. To the cathedral ward once i get into the cathedral ward i'm gonna uh go back to the hunter's dream to buy the hunter's chief emblem that's a key that we need for one of the gates you have to open up three gates in order to uh, summon eileen for all for her to appear outside of the cathedral as i will show you just now yeah you'll note i'm not fighting anything in this video i'm just um running doing a a little bit faster version of how to summon henrik I'm just going to head up here, okay, light the lantern, and I'm going to return to the hunter's dream. <clears throat> Once there, go to your bath messengers, acquire items, buy the hunter's chief emblem for 10,000 blood echoes. It's quite expensive for a little bit of blood, but okay, what you going to do? Then we're going to head back to the cathedral ward. Okay, I'm not going to take the long way around. Like I said, there's three gates that we need to open up in order to activate Eileen. Oh. If you go and check out her lore videos, it's actually quite sad, her story and stuff. Okay, so we're just going to open up this gate. I'm not going to take the long way around. Usually I would go through the wagons there, but I'm going to use this shortcut over here through the, the courtyard. Be careful, the enemies can still swipe at you and they can still, you know, cause some damage. Just gonna get past these guys. Up the ladder. Okay. Ooh, I took a shot right up Main Street there. I'm actually very angry at Bloodborne, but I'll get to that, uh, I'll get to that uh, in, in a moment, my friends. Let me just get to the the gate here, the second gate I need to open up, okay, let's just open up this one, okay, there's a poochie chasing me and a guy with a big stick, and the third gate, we need to open up this one, okay, now Eileen will appear next to the cathedral so you can interact with her, uh, I uploaded my 999 hour and 99th playthrough video, uh, I think a couple of days ago, and I said that I actually want to do a thousand hours on my character, on my main character. And uh, this morning I realized that Bloodborne stops at 999 hours, 59 minutes and uh, 59 seconds. It doesn't tick over to a thousand hours, which is kind of sad. So I can't add any more hours to my main character. That's kind of sad. I've already done my hundredth playthrough, so I, I have 100 gold pendants, but yeah. Okay, what happened there is um, I spoke to Eileen, you max out the conversation, you take a bald hunter's mark, you come back to her, and she's going to tell you that Hun uh, Hendrik is, uh, he's gone mad and uh, she needs to assassinate him. 
she warns you not to go to the the, the Odin's tomb, but um, we have to. We have to initiate this. Whenever you get take part in the fight, be very careful that you don't hit Eileen. Uh, she can be killed, and if she's killed in this fight, the quest is over. You can't. Then you have to do it all over again. So let her do most of the work. You can jump in for a hit or two, but don't kill Eileen. The aim here is to kill Henrik. That's the thing. Okay, so I'm just going to run this way, and I'm going to get his attention. Wee. Okay, so I'm just gonna let Eileen kill him. Okay, right. See, I was standing far away. Uh, I don't want to hit her. I don't want to bugger up this quest line. Again, max out the conversations. He's gonna say, leave the hunter, the hunting of hunters to her because she's the real badass old grandmama. And um, now the quest has been activated now you can uh, summon Henrik in both those boss fights that I told you about but there's another step that you guys need to do before you do this you have to defeat Vicar Amila like I did there you have to interact with the skull in the background when you go to the forbidden woods after you've opened up the shortcuts you have to go to master Walter who's standing in that little building next to the lantern and you have to max out the, if this is your first time playing this, you have to max out the conversation and he's going to give you the impurity rune. Now the impurity rune you have to go and uh, equip on your, uh, your carol ruins in the hunter's dream. You have to do that in your fourth, your fourth slot. Otherwise, that one over there, you put it in the fourth slot, the very last one. Otherwise you can't summon Henrik, that has to be equipped in order for the summoning to work. So, once all of this is done, head back to the Forbidden Woods, and then, then you can start having some fun. See, when you come back, Henrik's summon sign would be on this little platform, heading towards the Shadows of Yarn and boss fight. You can always summon the, the Mother Rust twin as well, but like I said, Henrik is enough for, I mean, two on three, it's fine. It's, uh, it's not so bad. You can always bring in some bigger help, like I showed you guys in my pig video. But uh, for this fight, it's not needed. Okay, got through this fight fairly quickly, so... Got rid of him. Henrik takes a lot of damage. He's a very tough NPC. He can, he can take a wallop. Okay, let him get rid of the shadow. Come on, Henrik. Murder him! There he goes. He's gone. Right. And we're going to move on to where he is in uh, Bergenwerf. There where the couches are. There's his summon, summon sign. So if you follow all these steps, you will have no problem summoning him and having a good time kicking uh, the shadows and Rom's asses. Um, if I could walk, I probably would kick. So I'll kick with my hand. Yay. As you can see, this fight also went very fast. Um, like I said, for the purpose of the video, I'm just going through this to show you guys the steps. But I really hope this helps you guys, and I hope if you're a new Blunt Bomb player, try this out. I mean, it's definitely going to help you out the first time, because Bloodborne isn't a very easy game. A lot of people think, oh, it's such an easy game. Once you get into the new game pluses, then uh, things start getting real. Trust me, my friends. But I will see you guys in the next one. You guys take care of yourselves. Be safe. And we'll talk soon, eh? Cheers, my friends.